So we're going to be doing a little bit of algebraic thinking today by using an input-output table. An input-output table is also known as a function, but there is a pattern within this function. I know a lot of times we think of patterns as symbols, pictures, maybe even shapes, but patterns can also be found within a set of numbers. So we're going to look at this set of numbers and we're going to try and find the pattern within this function. So this is a magazine sale happening at a school. And by looking at this table, I can see that for every one box that is ordered, seven magazines come in that box. So how did I get from one to seven? What operation could I use? I could add, I could do six plus one, I could do four plus three, but there's an easier way for me to get from one to seven. Go ahead and turn to your partners and give me an idea of how you get from one to seven. All right, I heard some great conversation. So I heard someone say that you could multiply one times seven. So let's try it. So if we multiply one times seven, it would equal, I'm gonna pick on someone, yes. Yes, one times seven would equal seven. So we know that it works for this box, okay? So one times seven equals seven. So we need to try it to see if the pattern would continue. So if I do two times seven, turn to your partner and on your whiteboards, come up with an answer. All right, show your answers. Yes, it would equal 14. So we can see that the pattern is continuing. So I'm just gonna check these now. Three times seven does equal 21. 4 times 7 equals 28, and 5 times 7 equals 35. So we know that we are multiplying times 7 to get our answer. So my question for you is what would happen if we ordered 6 boxes? How many magazines would we have in total? I want you to turn to your whiteboard and try and represent this using a picture. No numbers. All right, show me your whiteboards. Very good. While you guys were working, I started my own picture up here. So as a class, let's figure out how many magazines would come in six boxes. I'm going to show you how I would represent this. So I know that there would be seven magazines in each of these boxes. So I'm going to put seven in each of these boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 So I could stand here and count five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. And that would give me the right answer. Or I could do 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7. But that's still a lot of adding to do. Probably wouldn't want to do that in my head or even on paper. But there's an easier way for me to write this. I could do 6 times 7 equals the number of magazines. The reason I wrote it this way is because my number of boxes, six, times the number of magazines in each box, six boxes filled with seven magazines, will equal how many magazines we get, and our answer would be 42. So I'm going to fill in 42. So our number of magazines on our function chart would be 42. So I have another question for you. What if I knew that there were 77 people that ordered a magazine? So we need 77 magazines. How many boxes would I need to order? Well, we know our equation. Multiply the number of boxes times 7, and that will give us the number of magazines. So this is my M. This is what we didn't know when I asked for six, but now we know we need 77 magazines. So, what is a way that I could do this? I could 
I divide 77 by 7. And now I'm giving my magazines, but this is sometimes hard to do in my head. So I could draw 77 magazines, and then I could group them into seven boxes. I could, I could group them into sevens, not seven boxes. All right, so let's try that. Count with me on your whiteboards. All right, so I'm going to group these by seven. There, in each row, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here's one box, two boxes, three boxes, four boxes, five boxes, six boxes, seven boxes, eight boxes, nine boxes, ten boxes, eleven boxes. So I have eleven boxes here. And my answer would be 11 times 7 equals 77. So I would need to order 11 boxes to get 77 magazines.